Hello and welcome to the new video. Today we are diving into the world of interior design principles, where every choice counts towards crafting a space that feels just right. Join me as I explore the elements of design aimed at not just making your home beautiful, but also creating a harmonious and functional environment tailored to our lifestyle and budget. Please take all these advice with a pinch of salt. I am no expert. Now let's start with the most basic, balance and symmetry. Achieving a visual equilibrium by distributing the elements evenly throughout the space, whether it's furniture, decor or color, blend these various in sizes and shapes creates a harmonious look that does not feel cluttered or overwhelming. Like adding the same end tables and same lamps on each side of the sofa creates a visual balance and symmetry. But breaking it with different sorts of decor choices around it creates a sense of interest and curiosity. Please stay till the end. I have an announcement to make and I will share it at the end of the video. Ensuring furniture and decor items are in proportion to the size of the space, avoiding pieces that will overpower or underwhelm the space. Maintaining a proper proportion to create a balanced aesthetics where each element complements the other. Creating cohesive theme throughout the home by selecting colors, textures and style that works together and unifies the overall design scheme to ensure a seamless flow from room to room. Promoting a sense of tranquility and comfort. I have tried to achieve this through various cushion covers in different colors but in the same style of pattern. It's repeated but it's not the same. Same types of wooden hues and use of natural materials and greenery throughout. This is all repeated but not same. Which brings me to the next topic of magic of repetition. Or should I call it as a visual rhythm for establishing a guide that eyes smoothly transcends throughout the space. Achieving a repeated pattern in colors or motifs create a sense of continuity, a visual interest by strategically repeating the designs and element in different areas of the room. Look at all the paintings that I have all around. Don't you think that they are in the same color palette? Which brings me to the next point, attention to details. Personally, I like infusing personality and character to the space with thoughtful accessories and finishing touches and that's what creates a difference. You can do this in terms of throw pillows, artwork, decorative accents, your heirloom pieces. If you notice carefully, then oranges and hues of red is in this painting. Splash of green and blue is in other paintings and just to tie everything together we have these bright yellow cushions on absolutely other side of the room. Nothing is same but still everything stays in the same color palette. When you look at it, it does not feel out of place. If you have enjoyed this content till here then please take a moment to subscribe and like this video, it really keeps me motivated. Highlighting key features or a focal point within a room to draw attention and create visual interest. Whether it's a statement piece of furniture or a striking artwork. Use contrast positioning to make it a centerpiece of the space. In my case, I have used Ganpati on one corner and a large statue of this lady in the other. Last 
and the final point is adding contrast now this is a trick that each and every interior design stylist uses creating depth and dimension to the room by incorporating contrasting elements such as light and dark tones rough and smooth texture modern and tra traditional styles and balance these opposing forces to create a dynamic yet a beautiful space that stimulates your senses i use this hack in every nook and cranny of this house you would see me using different textures of pillow covers throw blankets different colors of trays warmth of wood absolutely juxtaposed against brass and marble if you go back and watch all of my videos you will find that i have used these seven principles extensively in each and every room makeovers as promised this is the announcement that i will be changing the entire layout of this living room area in next couple of videos with loads of diy and lots of other things that i have planned to add you will be seeing me using all these tips and principles that i have shared in this video and before using it in full fledged way so i hope you enjoyed this video using these seven basic principles of interior design and i hope you gain some valuable insights and feel inspired to elevate your own living spaces remember creating a home that reflects your style and personality is a journey and not a destination if you have watched till the end and found this video a little helpful then please leave your valuable comments and if you haven't subscribed yet then please consider subscribing for more tips and hacks to make your home a space that you love coming to I'll see you in my next video until next time happy decorating